Hi Libra, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you're new, please check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there, a ton of information. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with a uh, tip or donation, an energy exchange for the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. And I love to do this for you guys. So Libra, love connection reading, first half of August. First half of August, what do we have for Libra? Now this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, or planet energy, so we'll see what comes out here. And if you don't resonate with whatever is uh, drawn with this, that is totally fine. You may resonate with the rest of the message. Okay, so one card for Libra in love, love connection. First half of August, what do we have for Libra spirit? This one card, what could Libra be dealing with or some Libras be dealing with the first half of August? Way too many. First half of August, just one card please spirit. Thank you so much, one card for Libra. One card for Libra spirit please, thank you. Wow, all right, I'm gonna take that one. All right, the sun, which is Leo. So if you're not dealing with a Leo, the sun speaks of identity. It speaks of um, individuality. It speaks of who you are as a person um, and that sort of thing. And it's fire energy and fire is very you know, determined energy, passionate energy. Um, and having drive and ambition and that sort of thing. And the sun also is happiness, joy, success, energy also. All right, so let's see, let's see. Or you could have, you could have, you know, Leo in your chart or maybe your person has Leo in their chart. All right, so. But it doesn't have to be. It can just be the energy of the sun. All right. Enlightenment energy. All right. With this deck here, let's get an overall love energy for what's going on with you for the beginning of August for the Libra. For Libra, the beginning of August, Spirit, please. What is the love energy like for Libra, the beginning of August? Oh, I just want one. One card, please. Thank you so much for Libra. Take that one. Be assertive. Okay, Libra. So you need to take the lead. You need to take control to be assertive. But with the sun energy is very uh, go-getter kind of energy with the fire energy there. Um, being a go-getter, going after what you want, and being assertive. Oh, so it's time for you to be assertive, Libra. So Libra, let's see how you are feeling towards your person, towards this connection. Can be any kind of connection in any kind of situation. So whoever you have in mind, whoever you have a connection with. Okay, for Libra, one card. How are you feeling towards your person and this connection? The beginning of August, spirit, please. For one card for Libra. Please, thank you so much. One card. For Libra. Okay, there we go. A year from now. Hmm. A year from now. So you're feeling like this may not happen right away. You're feeling like it's going to be a long process. Um, and you're thinking it's going to happen like way out in the distant future. Like a year, a year from now. So you're feeling a year from now. I don't know why. Um, maybe you're going to be getting married in a year from now. Uh, maybe you'll be in a more committed relationship a year from now. Maybe you see yourself in a more stable, committed relationship with this person 
a year from now? I don't know. So let's see how your person is feeling towards you in this connection. Choose a new direction. Hmm. Choose a new direction. So they either want this relationship connection to go in a whole new direction, a whole new level maybe, or they're actually thinking about leaving. I don't, I don't know, leaving the connection altogether. Huh. Or maybe they need to go off and do their own thing for now. And maybe they'll come back in a year from now. Maybe you know that. But you need to be assertive and tell them how you feel. And you don't want to lose this connection. That could be a message for some people. You know, may not be what comes out with the tarot. May not be the uh, storyline of what we get. I feel like that's just maybe for some Libras um, a situation for some of you. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Also for extra energy. Abundance. So... <clears throat> there is abundance to be had in this connection, you know, and the sun energy is all about that victory, abundance, growth, expansion, success, happiness, and joy, enlightenment comes with the sun energy. So you have the sun, success, happiness, victory, fulfillment, and abundance with this person, but you need to be assertive. So they may need to go off and do their own thing for some reason. I don't know why. And maybe you know it's going to take them a year. I, I don't know what that could be. Um, but whatever it is for them. Um, maybe they're doing volunteer work. Maybe they're going overseas. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe they're doing something where they will be a year, be away for a year. And you know, you I think you kind of let you know that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What do we get here? see what we get here with the tarot for Libra love connection reading. first half of August all the decks have been pre-shuffled caught meditated on before I came on camera all right so for Libra why are they in this year from now energy spirit oh that was a clump why are they in a year from now energy? Why is Libra in that energy? Oh, this. Okay, well, I guess this is in reverse. So five of pentacles in reverse, you know, uh, abandonment, upright, but in reverse. Um, I don't think they're going to leave you. I don't think that. And I think you know that. I think, you know, it'll be temporary that they have to leave for like a year because the Five of Pentacles speaks of um, abandonment, neglect, being left out in the cold and that sort of thing. But in reverse, I feel like, um, you know, you're coming in from the cold, you're no longer abandoned. So I think, you know, it's just temporary that whatever they're doing, they will come back after, it may not be a year, it could be a few weeks, it could be whatever here, whatever a period of time is what I'm getting. So I think you know that, that they will be gone for a period of time. A period of time, but they will be back. All right, so what's going on with your person would choose a new direction? Ten of Pentacles, luck. So Ten of Pentacles, I mean, maybe they have to, maybe it's work-related. You know, maybe they have to, for their career, or whatever it is, I think maybe they have to do something or leave or something for a period of time. And it's only going to bring in that abundance here. But wow, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles and we got romance right under that. So this definitely is a and success. <laughs> wow. And no need to worry under that. And yes, wow. Yes, under that. And then under that within the next few months. So some of you... It could be a few months, some of you, it could be a year, but you have yes, you have no need to worry. Wow. Success, but an exclamation point, romance, and abundance. So, wow. So I definitely feel like here they are going after their ten of coins. They're doing 
something that they need to do, they have to do for their career, for, the, for you, for, for the both of you, for them, for the future, so you can have this abundance. Ten of Pentacles is all about luck, abundance, wealth, um, prosperity and growth, expansion, happy home and family, no need to worry. We just had we just had that under there, no need to worry. You, you'll have everything you need. And they know they have to do this to have this abundance for this connection. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the actual situation is here. Now, the Five of Cups. Okay. The Nine of Cups. Wow. <laughs> and the King of Wands. Wow, this just clarifies everything I just said. I, I love your spirit when you do that. Thank you. So now we have, I mean, they could be an earth sign, or that could just be career related, but the actual situation is connecting you in this situation is the five of cups, sadness. So, yep, you're very sad about the situation, this temporary situation. You're very, very sad over it, but, you know, there's nothing really you can do for the time being, for the period that you'll be apart. Um, a lot of sadness over that. I think you're going to miss them dearly uh, in every way because connecting you both is the Nine of Cups. So there's the wish coming true, the wish fulfillment, happiness and joy energy. It's also single energy, so I do feel... Um, so, I mean, maybe you'll be getting married in a year or maybe they're going to propose in a year, uh, whatever it is for you. But this definitely is for the two of you. You are each other's wish, dream come true. Um, for the future, I feel like you may both may, may be both single right now. Um, but connecting with them is the King of Wands. There's the fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. So definitely here, practicality. This is somebody, again, with the fire energy, going after what they want, being an entrepreneur, being um, very passionate and exciting and just having a lot of drive and ambition and being successful. So whatever they're doing here for their Ten of Pentacles abundance, going in the direction they need to go into for the time being so that when you come together, you can have all this abundance, you can have this happiness and fulfillment and the wishes coming true for the two of you. Wow. But there will be sadness and loneliness. It's on your side, but I feel between the two of you, sadness and loneliness especially on your side while they have to go do their thing all right so let's see what your advice is in the situation libra so we have strength wow leo and that's the confirmation of the leo energy wow libra and then we have the five of swords conflict so i think during this conflict for your advice here it's telling you during this conflicting time for you while they're away, going doing their own thing, and maybe you have some fears and doubts. You know, what if they meet somebody else? What if we lose the connection? You know, anything can happen. You know, having that conflict with the Five of Swords energy is to, you know, with the stability here, with the strength, you know, find that inner strength and wisdom and know what kind of connection this is. It's all here with the wishes coming true. And the Ten of Pentacles between the two of you. We had romance. We had, yes, success all underneath. You know, and be a sort of tell them your fears, how you're feeling about them going away or whatever they're doing for a you know period of time. How it's, it makes you feel, what your fears are, what you're afraid of, how you don't want to lose the connection, exactly how you feel about them. Um, to try to avoid some of this inner conflict within yourself with this connection. And, you know, so you can have that strength and inner stability within yourself as they venture out and do their thing here, whatever they're doing here. And you are strong, courageous, and brave, and you will get through this. You do have the strength to get through this inner conflict and this time of being apart. We have a five here, a five here, three fives, which is major, major change. They know to change everything for the two of you to have a better future. They have to go and do whatever they're going to do because three fives is a major, major change. <clears throat> so whatever they need to do, they need to do. It's for the best for them, for you, for the connection, for your future with this person. Wow. And it's 
very strong bond here between the two of you with strength, so just know that. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome will be for you, Libra. Temptation, the devil. So this is a Capricorn energy. We have air energy here, Leo, water. Um, we have all we have all the um, elements here, so it can be anybody. But temptation, the devil. So, and that's the possible out possible outcome. So the possible outcome is if you don't keep your inner strength and confidence about you and the connection between the two of you, you can get caught up in this toxic kind of energy of having that fear and doubts in your mind consume you having all that worry, you know, about temptation, you know, will they have temptation while they're away, you know, will you lose the connection? Having all that fear and anxiety can be ego-driven, um, devil kind of energy. So, you know, as long as you remain solid and firm and stable and strong and confident, you can overcome this conflict, temptation, devil energy that you may be feeling towards a connection while they're away doing their thing. <clears throat> All right, so let's get some more clarity. So we have the hangman, right? This is Cancer Pisces. So things are in limbo right now on a pause break, the connection right now, because they have to go and do whatever they need to do, uh, whatever it is for you in your situation, whether it's a period of a few weeks, a few months, a year, whatever it is for you, that is, you know, a pause, a break, right now the world regeneration so exactly and this is earth energy so exactly they need to complete this cycle that they're in right now to complete whether they're completing uh, apprenticeship um, or something like that so they can move forward in the world in their new career or whatever they're doing so they're creating, closing this cycle of their what they're doing now so they can create a new world, a new cycle for the two of you. Wow. A whole new world for the two of you. Have a whole new beginning. Knight of Cups proposals. Exactly. So here is uh, taking that action, coming forward with, you know, love offers, maybe even an engagement you know, apologizing, you know, I, I know I have to do this and we have to be apart. I'm sorry, I have no choice. It's only for the better, for the betterment of the two of us and our connection and our future. And they may return with a proposal. Wow. A lot of love and emotions and feelings here between the two of you, them towards you, or you towards them. Or it could be vice versa. You could be the one going away and they're waiting for you. And that sort of energy, uh, you can flip-flop this however you see fit. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Wow. So <laughs> here comes the Knight of Cups offering his cup to the Queen of Cups. Wow. Sensitivity. So you could be very sensitive about this, emotional about this, because you have so much love and emotions for this person and feelings. You know, this whole situation, I think, is very sensitive for you. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have justice, balance. So the situation in the future will balance out. Here's your energy, Libra. You want, you know, things to remain truthful, honest, open, clear communication. You want the scales to be balanced, you know, for the future, for the both of you. This is, um, everything will be right in time. Everything will be just. So you don't have to worry about that. With justice there, that's a good. Three of Cups, exactly. So reunion. Water energy, exactly. When they come back, you will come back together. You will have a reunion. You will come back into a loving union. Wow. Page of Swords, gossip. So yeah, be wary of people that may try to um, like, tell you things oh well they're probably going to do this they're probably going to do that just trying to put those like the devil energy like put those gossipy things in your head that aren't true just to fill your head with all kind of thoughts 
you know, negative thoughts that don't need to be there. So just kind of be, you know, wary of that and to always keep the open communication with this person, you know, I feel like while they're away or whatever, you know, you'll be the page of swords, there's usually communication, whether it's online or whatever. So I feel like you'll be Skyping with this person, you'll be texting, you'll be emailing, uh, private messaging, you know, keep the airwaves in the communication open always, honest, truth, clarity, cut out gossipy, devilly, negative people around you. You don't need that during this time. Stand up for yourself. Don't take any BS. And that is your energy with the air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have the Page of Cups. So again, here is, you know, loving words of affection, uh, commun loving communication. So, yep, I feel like, you know, you'll definitely have this loving communication connection between the two of you during this time the high priest so again we have the knight of cups we have the page of cups and we have the high priest so this is faith spirituality commitment marriage i definitely see probably in the future marriage between the two of you whether it's a year from now maybe that's what the year from now means um maybe you want to get married now and you can't because they have to go and do whatever it is they need to do so you know you need to wait, like I said, for a time period here. But here is the commitment. Here is the marriage. Doing what's moral and just. Integrity. Uh, value. Yeah. Six of Cups. So definitely could be a past life connection here. Soulmate energy for sure. You know, thinking back, reflecting about your relationship. How long, maybe you've been together since childhood. You know, five of wands, competition. So I think it's you're still going to have those doubts in your head. They may be tempted by other people, and you may see that as competition. Or maybe they have competition in uh, whatever journey they're on. Maybe they know there's other people uh, they may have to compete with moving forward on their journey, whether it's career or whatever it is for them. And there could also be inner conflict within you with all this energy that you don't really need to have in your mind. So, okay. So I do see, you know, this is a very soulmate connection here, loving uh, connection. And I don't see the connection uh, going away during the separation or whatever it is for you with the justice there and the High priest right next to it, I definitely see in the future an offer of some kind, whether it's um, moving in together or a long-term commitment or a marriage proposal or something like that. I definitely see that here. Okay, so let's get, let's get some extra guidance for you, Libra. Let's get some extra guidance for you, Libra. Some extra messages, a huh, passion uh, for this connection. What else does Libra need to know about this connection? For the beginning of August, Spirit, please. Thank you so much for this love connection for Libra. What other messages for Libra, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Separate. Well, <laughs> my God. I cannot make this up. Holy crap. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Wow. Wow. I cannot make it up. Cannot make it up. Exactly. Wow. Huh. So the bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Um... I don't see how that plays in here, but um, I don't know. I feel like I need to shuffle. I don't feel like that is uh, fitting here in any way. So are there any other messages for Libra? This love connection reading for the beginning of August. And I just want one, one more for Libra. For this love 
special. Okay. Well, all right. We have engagement here. And I just saw true love. Past life relationship, soulmate, wow. So, yep, this definitely is your soulmate. Past life relationship, we have the Six of Cups. Uh, where do we have this? Right there. So, past life relationship, confirming that. This is definitely is true love. I don't think you have to worry. We did have no need to worry under there. This definitely is a true love. And did I not say here with the page of Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, possible engagement here on the horizon for the future when they return. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And we have flirt at the bottom of the deck, but uh, very flirty, lighthearted energy maybe between the two of you. Libra. Wow. Good for you, Libra. So if this didn't resonate for you, you could check my uh, description box below for past readings. It may resonate for you more. If you do like this, you like how I read, you like my style, if it resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do uh, bi-weekly, general in love for all the signs. So don't miss out on that. So be sure to hit the bell. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I'm wishing you good luck here in this situation. I see nothing but goodness here. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.